Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can initiate a data refresh from within a Power BI report. Okay, so let's get started. So here's a report here. Uh, it's, um, it's in Power BI Desktop. But the basic gist of this report is that we have got a trend here and certain data points have got this tooltip that allows you to display a, a narrative explaining why the data has either increased or decreased or anything significant that happened at that point in time. Now this data here is taken from, so you can see these ones here don't have anything, uh, this one here has, has one as well. Now I've, I've created a video that explains how to set this up and um, what I've done in this example here is that the data that stores these narratives, these additional narratives related to each date, is stored within a spreadsheet that's stored within SharePoint. Okay, and that's our data source there for the for the extra narratives. So what I want to be able to do is add a little bit of extra um, user friendliness and a little bit of extra interaction to the dashboard. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a, or two things, add a couple of buttons here. So the first one is going to be a, a link here that's going to open up the the actual underlying spreadsheet. Okay, so we can see here that this has opened up that spreadsheet and there's already a few narratives in here and that is in, um, that is in SharePoint. Okay, so that's the first button. The second button is going to refresh the data so that we can see the updates we've made straight away. Okay, or relatively straight away, however long it takes to refresh the data set that sits underneath this report. So that's going to be what we're going to cover today. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is publish a report and take note of where we're going to actually publish this to. So it's called Batlog Analysis. And we can see here, this is going to be the name of the data set. Safety Critical Work Order Batlog Narrative Refresh Button Before. Okay, a bit of a mouthful but that's going to be the, the data set that we're going to refresh. Okay, so that's fine. We're just going to say got it there. And then we're going to go and add in this Power Automate visual. Now what this does is it adds in uh, a button that allows you to initiate a Power Automate flow from within your Power BI report, which is exactly what we want to do. Now it's got some instructions here on how to set this up. But I'm going to go and, um, and talk you through that. So the first thing is find the three dots here and then go to edit. Now it's opened up Power Automate within your Power BI desktop report and it allows you to start creating flows here. So let's go and we could use a template but I'm going to use it start from scratch because it's a fairly straightforward one. So we're going to click on new and we want to create one of these here, an instant cloud flow. You can see the little button here. Um, and so nothing needs, nothing needs to be added at this point here. So we go straight to next step. And we're going to go and search for Power BI Refresh. Because we want to refresh a data set. So here it is at the top here. Refresh a data set. So we'll click on here. And it's going to ask you for a couple of inputs. The first one is going to be the workspace. So the workspace we published this one to was called Batlog Analysis. And then the data set got a few different ones in here but the data set was this one here safety critical work order backlog narrative refresh before and we're going to save it okay so once you've done that you save and apply and then you go back to the actual screen here and I'm just going to go and change this name here because it's got so, the flow is called API connection refresh data set so it doesn't really mean much so let's go in here and we'll change this to refresh. Okay. We'll save that. And then click this apply button. Okay. You successfully applied refresh narrative data set to your button. So now we go back to the report and we can see this is changing a button and it says run to flow. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll push that to the top there and we will do a little bit of reformatting on this okay so that is the the run flow button there okay so that's going to run the the data refresh so let's click on here 
and we're just going to change it. So I'm going to go to button text and I'm going to change this to refresh narrative. And we'll make the pardon a little bit smaller, text a little bit smaller. Okay, that's fine. So that's the first button. Now the other button I want to do is I want to, before I refresh the data, I also want to be able to get a link directly into that spreadsheet so I can actually update the data first before I refresh it. So let's go and create a button for that. So we're going to go to insert and we're going to go to button and we're just going to insert a blank button. I'm going to stick it here and we're going to go to style and text and I'm going to say open narrative sheet. And I'm just going to quickly do a little bit of um, a little bit of format in here, so I'll just pause it. Okay, so they are looking a bit more, um, a bit, a bit, basically similar. Um, next, we're going to go and click on here, and we're going to add an action. So we open the action, turn it on, and we're going to put in here a web URL. And that web URL is going to be the link into the um, the spreadsheet that's stored on SharePoint. So I'm across here on SharePoint, and here is the the folder that's got all the data and it's this one here, Batlog Report Narrative Sheet. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to go to copy link. Okay, copy this link. Then we're going to go back to the report again. Okay, so I'm going to go in here, I'm going to click on this action and we're going to select web URL and I'm going to paste this link into here. Okay, so that is us all set up. So let's publish us up to the Power BI service and we can see it in action. Okay, so we're back in the Power BI service and we can see this report is here. And I want to add in, uh, what I do, I'll add one in here on the 20th of March, 2019. I want to add a narrative in here to explain why there was this little blip here, this little increase here. So let's go to the narrative sheet. So I click on here and we can see it's opened up. And I'm going to type in here the 20th of March 2019. Okay, and the site I'm going to select is going to be alpha. And then the comments, so, okay, something like that. And I'm going to add my name here, the person who added it in. Okay, so this is saved. Oh, it's because it's in SharePoint, it's automatically saving. I've opened it up within a web browser, so that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to close that down and then I'm going to go and press this button and that's going to trigger a refresh of the data. Okay, So it's going to refresh straight away. Uh, so when this data set's not massive but it'll take a few minutes just to refresh it. So I'm going to pause it and then we'll come back and take a look at what's happening with the refresh. Okay, so we're going to go and investigate the what's happening with this refresh. So I'm going to click on Power BI and I'm going to go to data sets and we're going to find the data set that we've got and I think it's this one here at the top and we'll click on here and we can see here that it is in the middle of being refreshed okay it was last refreshed at 17.30 but look at this um, symbol here it's getting refreshed so we'll keep an eye on that and once that's finished we can then um, hopefully see the results in the Power BI desktop report Okay, so we can see this is now refreshed and it took just over 15 minutes, so we've got a fair bit of time actually. We'd probably want to try and get that um, get that shortened if we could by just pulling less data into the report. But nonetheless, it's refreshed. So let's go and look at our app. Um, we'll go into this um, backlog analysis. Uh, we'll click on here. And we can see that our new data point that we added for the 20th has been added in here. Okay, so increase due to plant shutdown changes, um, changing priorities. So everything in one place, you can open up the sheet, you can add information to the sheet, you can then initiate a refresh all from within your Power BI report, which I think is great. And there's loads of different applications that you could you could use here. You may even have just a, a section of text here that gives you a bit of a narrative as to what's happening overall with a report for like a, maybe a daily report, a weekly report. That's another one that I think would be would be quite useful for this application. Anything that needs you to see the data that you added in quite quickly, uh, I think is, is, is something that is, is fair to say. Okay, so if you found this useful, and if you've got any ideas, I'd like to hear them in the comments, that'd be great. You can share them with myself and anyone else that's looking at this video. 
Um, but if you found it useful, it's always appreciated if you can give it a thumbs up. That will help me out a bit. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, I release one more or less every week, then hit the subscribe button and click the wee bell to receive a notification. So apart from that, I will um, I will talk to you in the next video.